Hi, my name is Kasper Steinecke. I'm a co-creator of the original MPD technology, and I'm here today to share information on partial discharge testing with you. When we measure or detect BD, and this is an important difference, we're looking into the emissions from PD. So when there is partial discharge occurring, we get emissions of light, sound, and electrical waves. Light, well, can typically not be observed except for external PD. That's where ultraviolet cameras, UV cameras come into play. Those are sometimes used in looking at overhead lines and insulators. We can look at acoustic emissions. This is done in transformers, for example, to locate PD, and we can look at electrical emissions. However, light and acoustic can really only be used for detecting PD. When we want to measure and quantify PD and work according to international standards, then we need to look at these electrical emissions. For a typical PD test, we need the device under test, we need a high voltage source and a PD measuring instrument. Typically, you connect the high voltage across the insulating system of your device under test and then decouple the PD signal using a coupling capacitor. That's actually very simple. You connect a capacitor, a high voltage capacitor, in parallel with your acid. And at the base of that capacitor, you connect the PD instrument. Partial discharge measurements can be taken online and offline. Online measurements are taken on electrical energy assets in operation. Offline measurements require taking these assets out of operation. Initial measurements are always taken offline, that is quality assurance at the factory when an asset gets manufactured. Offline measurements require having a voltage source on site. Online measurements operate with the voltage that's already present. Online measurements typically come with restrictions because we do not have access to all terminals. They're often performed on built-in sensors in assets and on permanently installed means of decoupling the PD signal. Performing multi-channel PD measurements offers great additional insight. That is, imagine commissioning a cable system where you have multiple geographically distributed partial discharge measurements. Imagine having one measuring unit on every joint of that system and looking at all of them in real time. Imagine having a partial discharge measuring unit on every phase of a multi-phase system. That is, looking at a rotating machine or transformer in real time and using multiple points of measurement to collect more information more rapidly and correlate that information as to be able to pinpoint defects within that asset faster and more precisely. The most important standard for taking PD measurements is IEC 6270. With IEC 6270, we have certain defined frequency ranges, we have a defined means of calibration, and we can compare PD performance across different measurements. There are then other standards that govern individual assets, like for example 6034 for rotating machines. I hope this information was of interest to you. Omicron has over 20 years of experience in partial discharge testing, and we'd be pleased to work with you in this area.